The cat wasn't a lesson. It was a warning. Around 1900, classical physics was breaking. A new guard of physicists rose, and their theory, quantum mechanics, was radical. Its Copenhagen interpretation said reality was just a probability until you observe it. A particle wasn't here or there, it was in a superposition of all possible states at once. But two of the era's greatest minds, Einstein and Schrodinger, were horrified. This wasn't science, it was philosophy. Einstein famously wrote that God does not play dice with the universe. He argued their theory would describe an unstable barrel of gunpowder as a bizarre blend of not yet and already exploded. To escalate this critique, Schrodinger wrote to Einstein in 1935 with what he called a ridiculous case. He scaled up their quantum weirdness from a single atom to a cat in a box, whose life was tied to that atom's decay. According to the Copenhagen rules, until the box was opened, the cat wasn't alive or dead. It was a ghostly mix of both. This wasn't a serious paradox he wanted to teach. It was a parody, a weapon designed to show the absurdity of their logic when applied to the real world. The greatest irony in physics is that this thought experiment, built as a mockery to destroy an idea, has become its most famous symbol. What's the greatest historical irony you know? Let me know in the comments. This whole intellectual war is a story that needs more than a minute, so I've put the full deep dive on my main page for you.